Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're taking a look at a Town Hall 10 base that surprisingly defended uh, quite a few times. Five de uh, defenses successfully against other Town Hall 10 three star attempts, and this base you wouldn't think would be a good anti three star base, but I just want to focus on this to show you guys that there's some other possibilities for base building at Town Hall 10. Uh, now this war against uh, Mariana Trench, it's a midweek war, obviously people aren't trying as hard because um, it, it's not CWR or anything, but still I think there's something to be said about uh, five failed attacks, even if they're not maybe the most well planned attacks or necessarily using the, the troops that they um, would go to in a CWR war. But still, quality defenses. Now, it has multi-infernos. This was built, believe it or not, before the Inferno Tower change. So it it actually might have worked better back then. But even now, with infernos not blocking heal, it still worked out pretty well. And we'll take a look at some of the defenses here. But you can see, basically, just isolating these infernos in the core with these Teslas in there as well. Um, some skelly traps, some air traps, and then basically a surrounding ring of defenses and other stuff. You have the heroes, the CC down here. All the air defenses are actually pretty protected. Um, none of them are that exposed, which is a nice thing. And I think it makes it a little trickier for La Loon. But enough said. Let's get to these defenses here. The first one... Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into their uh, team so we can do it in the right sequence. Uh, this first one here, go to attacks, 38. Um, this was the scout. We'll go through in times two. This is the strategy that I think when testing this base out um, back in the day before, back when this was, might have been a serious base I would have run, um, I'm just running it now because I don't want to expose any of my actual bases to clans that are in our league. That's why it was running this war. Um, not a base I would probably run very seriously in CWL, but after this, I mean, you know, there's an argument to be made possibly. This is the attack I thought would be used, just classic witch bowler uh, going uh, at the heroes and then in towards the Inferno Towers. The Queen actually is going to grab both Infernos, I believe, because those multi just don't do much damage. Of course, it is a Town Hall 9, so not the strongest, and stuff peters out here. Now, at this point, um, I think... A Town Hall 10 repeating a similar plan might have had more success, but that's not what they elected to do. Um, they took a La Loon route on it, and, um, you know, I, I, I got to assume that they were trying their hardest to three-star the base. I mean, uh, I guess it's possible they were just messing around, but um, I don't know. Five defenses, I think at a certain point in time, you actually try to three-star the base, and uh, it it didn't work out for them. So let's take a look at this first attack here um, using a La Loon composition and kind of um, a lot of these queen walks just didn't work out well. Um, it is difficult to wall break in uh, the queen like to funnel her into the base on, on pretty much any queen charge and without there's the wizard actually a little bit late. Um, I'm not sure if this is the attack where the queen walks or not. There's one where she actually doesn't go into the base. This one looks like she does. Okay, so he got the queen into the base there. Um, has more wall breakers. I think going to try to push the queen even deeper. It's definitely a big queen charge. I'm not sure what the next layer of wall breakers was for. Obviously, it's going to be pretty tough to open up the inferno towers because they guard the wall with their multi-inferno uh, streams. Out comes the CC. Uh, king lures it out. Part of it goes to the queen. Part of it doesn't. Um, so the king will take care of some of the troops there. And it looks like he gets the wizard, he gets the witch, so has the CC troops down. The queen's doing fine in there. I think she'll actually start walking towards more air defenses. And then from here, the only problem is he doesn't have the defensive queen. Now I'm not sure, I think he might have been trying to wall break open right here to let his queen walk into this compartment and take out the defensive queen. But a very difficult queen walk. Um... I think there's easier ways to try to take out this base. I don't know, maybe practicing a, a queen walk for CWL or something. You always got to keep that in mind in these midweek wars. So anyway, um, the queen's going to walk down, but the inferno streams get on the healers, actually. And um, even though she grabs both air defenses, we still have a bunch of wizard towers, archer towers, expos, um, one air defense, and both multi-infernos, which are no joke still, um, especially if you're limited on heal spells. Those multi-infernos can be difficult on balloons, especially with those air traps coming out right there to meet them. The queen actually, I think, goes through the wall somehow for some reason. And um, yeah, I guess somehow she's going in towards that inferno. 
Uh, all the air defenses are down, so the Lava Hound's going to kind of sit with the balloons here. But with the Queen still up and with a bunch of air targeting defenses on the back end of this base, uh, not going to fly here. And uh, we'll go ahead and go times two because uh, the Queen actually stays up for a very long time. I think... Um, she will eventually i think he might end the attack actually because right here it's pretty obvious that um the ability is going to have to come soon there's just too many point defense for the queen to uh to take out the rest of this base not to mention time issues so the attack does end abruptly right here pops the ability and that's about it um, maybe ran out of time i think yeah i believe he ran out of time he didn't end the attack so moving on to the next one here it is number 13 the next one to try out this base, and I think a similar strategy, uh, yeah, has the same uh, army composition, or at least a similar army composition, not the same one. Um, coming at the base a little differently here with the queen charge, drops down the king to tank, and uh, going to wall break in right here. The king walks downwards, wall breakers to open up the wall, and uh, just gonna basically set up this queen walk with the king, and he'll also, you know, grab a few trash buildings, mainly just funneling the queen into the base along with that baby dragon here. Nice and patient on those healers. There's no point dropping them until the queen's targeted. That way they're the most, like, they're in the best spot behind the queen. So she goes into the base fine here. Um, he, she's in the compartment that's needed to take out the defensive queen, which is a good thing um, because the last attack we saw the problem if you don't get the queen taken out now i like the valk in the cc it, it can give the uh, a queen walk quite a scare if um the valk gets right up on top of that queen which she does but he kind of holds his composure doesn't pop the ability um and is able to save it and then uses that rage to take out my queen and then he'll take out the archer tower and the expo there um, as well as the king so getting good value for these rage spells holding on to the ability and there's a jump spell for the queen so charging very far into this base here um i don't know if she's going to take that jump though he drops down the wizard to try to help funnel her and yep actually she does take the jump um so good on the queen there um oftentimes she doesn't that isn't that cooperative um so takes out the air defense then she'll step up for these Inferno Towers. A very big queen charge, but time, of course, is always an issue. Only has five cleanup minions, so not a whole lot of cleanup troops. Has to be cognizant of time. But yeah, the queen walk um, could, if there was infinite time, maybe it would have taken out the entire base just the way it's set up. So anyway, start to the Laloon from the bottom. I think that was a good choice, getting these uh, wizard towers taken out at the beginning. The back end wizard towers on the base can often be, be a nuisance. Um, little slow the loons coming through just because there's a sweeper they're going directly into so the lava hounds are just kind of sitting there but no no single inferno they're not going to get roasted too quickly uh, meanwhile the queen i think does he miss the queen's ability no he gets the queen's ability um the problem is the pathing into that inferno tower is just not good and because there's no heal spell the balloons slowly get drained down by that multi inferno the queen, uh, meanwhile, is not nearby to help. And then there's these two air defenses that are not tanked by any lava hounds. So this is not the easiest base to hit with La Loon uh, by any stretch. And I think we'll just kind of fast forward here because it is rather close. The queen, you know, staying up for quite a while. Um, she might even survive. Yeah, she survives the attack once again. But time, um, as often is the culprit, is going to, to bring this attack to a close. Moving along, we have there was quite a few attacks in this base. Um, number 11 here, this next attempt. Soon we'll get into some ground attacks. I think this one might be the last air attack. We'll go times two because um, he's kind of trying to do the same queen walk that the first guy did. But um, I think this is the one where there's the wall breaker fail. And it just it pretty much hurts the attack. Um, but you'll see actually he's able to recover a little bit despite it um, drops down a rage here to deal with the cc troops then also a few loons good adjustment there unfortunately he loses like three of his healers in the process but i uh, was able to kind of save the healers a little bit although the expo gets on it takes out another healer so he's down to one healer but check out this one let me actually re uh, go to times one speed one healer queen charge look how low that healer gets we're talking maybe five hit points or something but this one healer queen charge will continue to push through the base here. It's actually pretty incredible how it works out. But with just like an inferno tower and occasionally a Tesla on her, he he even rages up the queen and the healer. Um, I thought it was pretty funny. 
is going to get pretty far in the base with this queen charge until the king finally steps up and takes her down. Meanwhile, the Laloon has been sweeping through the 6 o'clock of the base, and um, pretty much the same story, just not enough balloons or spells to push through the entire base. Didn't help that the queen walk was brought to a premature end by that hiccup at the beginning. Uh, so the final few balloons will go down here, and that'll be a close to this attack. And now, go, moving on to, um, I think, some some better planned out attacks, maybe. Um, I don't know if that's a fair thing to say. Attacks that seem to have a little bit more success, but didn't quite get it still. These next two, I think, both got like 96%, and they were some hog attacks they tried on this base. Uh, just trying to come in with one golem, bust in the heroes, take out the important stuff, then use hogs around the rest of the base. Um, still, I was kind of hoping people would try the Witch Bowler, because I think that might have been the best chance to jump over the cannon, then jump again by the Queen Altar to get to these Infernos. Although you, you do get very spread out in this area, and you have all these defenses that rain in on your troops once they get in the final core there. So that's one thing that makes this a little tricky. Um, you got to keep in mind when you're if you're going to try a witch bowler on it. So anyway, golem goes down, king goes down, just going to come in. The queen will uh, wrap back into the base, which is good. He'll get both defensive heroes, I believe. Um, it's a little bit close here because the queen is just sitting back, taking out the defensive king. Uh, meanwhile, the queen's back there behind. But the way it works out, he has the ability in his pocket. So uh, right here, he's going to have to pop the ability. The archers aggro the defensive queen so that uh, his queen will step up, take her out um, like a mutual shot here. They each get each other right at the end. So, uh, but got everything he wanted, I'm sure, from that kill squad. Now, here come the hogs. Basically, just going to send in a huge group here. Has so many hogs, just because he brought such a small kill squad. Um, just healing these guys up. But the multi-infernos, they're not going to do much against a heal spell. But it's making it awkward to heal the hogs here, because some are cutting into the middle of the base. Others aren't. The heal spell can't quite cover all of that. And um, in between, there's these spring traps, these skelly traps. Just adding to the difficulty, another three hogs go flying. Plus, the pathing's weird. Some cut across the base, um, which does dwindle his numbers, but still, he's going to finish the attack um, actually with hogs to spare. Um, they actually split nicely on that cannon, so they take it out. But the problem is, just doesn't have the cleanup. Um, if he had started his hogs before the queen went down, he could have maybe had a better chance, but the queen ability was tight. He might have missed it if he was busy deploying his hogs so um runs out of time that's pretty much it um i guess could have brought more cleanup if you're doing a mass hog attack that's a good lesson um try to get you guys some educational stuff from this video in addition to watching some of these fun attacks fail um, if you're doing a mass hog attack on minor extra wizards you need to have better cleanup than you would have if you're doing a kill squad based attack because the kill squad if it's small is taking out less of the base that's less of the trash buildings and you're relying on your hogs to take out the rest more so keep that in mind we have one more attack to show um back to attacks and here we go um so keep that in mind if you're doing a smaller kill squad you need more for cleanup um because there's gonna be more trash buildings left up at the end miners are a good cleanup troop to sprinkle them in because they can directly target those like cc uh the cc the like uh storages whatever's in the middle of the base the hogs don't take out you can get those unless you save a hog but oftentimes you won't the miner is a better choice typically um to take out stuff at the end of the attack Okay, last one is a two golem attack with bowlers. A bigger kill squad has a jump as well. I'm gonna try to bite off more of this base, but not getting in and dealing with kind of the problematic pathing for hogs when you have the both of the uh, infernos very separated from the rest of the defenses there. So that's kind of an issue he has to deal with. The queen goes in a bit of a walk, which isn't gonna get much value. Um, she can't reach many defenses over there. The uh, kill squad gets decent value, I mean, gets both those compartments cleared, which is a solid job by the kill squad. Um, able to deploy those hogs to kind of protect the queen, although I think the expo might still get her taken out before the hogs get the expo. It's going to be close here, that single bomb for the win there. I think the expo would have got her anyway. Um, so it's just up to the hogs at this point. 
has maybe a few extra wizards than the last attacker did, but um, it's difficult to heal. You can see kind of awkward the way that there's the heal spells going down. There's quite a bit of damage in the core with, if you count the skelly traps, the teslas, the infernos. Um, that's not a light core there, even though it looks kind of unsuspecting with just the inferno towers there. Uh, so this attack, not going to uh, go nearly as far as the uh, the first one, I thought both were 96%. I was mistaken. This one was not close to 96%. So that's the video, guys. I mean, I just wanted to show um, at Town Hall 10, some of these weird bases can work. Don't always think single infernos. Think of like the function. You know, single inferno is good at taking out the. Um, it's good at taking out like the king if he runs out ahead. It's good at guarding your defensive queen from suicide heroes. But sometimes, maybe have one single Inferno inside the base, one multi-guarding your queen. There's other things to think about. Um, town Hall 10 is a very interesting Town Hall level right now. A pretty good balance for 3-star attacks. And I hope this video was at least kind of entertaining, if not um, taught you something. So, that'll do it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.